We're going to get into Xavion Howard, the former All-Pro corner from the Miami Dolphins. Now, you know, Xavier Howard has been an All-Pro in this league, a premier corner in this league in recent years. But as running to some injury concerns, last year he, he didn't have the best year. Targets, he had uh, 38, 44 receptions allowed. Now, it, as you can see here, you know, run defensive snaps, 266, 475 cover snaps. Um, you know, he has primarily been a premier guy in the zone. We're going to get in that. But I think he slowed down a little bit because of the injuries he's had in the last few years. As you can see right here, his injury guy. This is total injury history. A knee injury, patella sprain in 2019, causing him to miss, like, the remainder of the regular season. He didn't play much in 2019. 2022, he had a groin pull, which seemed to have caused a domino effect in his career. Uh, another um, grade one groin pull. Then in 2023, he had a foot pedal sprain and then a hip strain. So, you know, we're trying to see if Xavier Howard can get back to his former level of greatness. So you might be asking, how does Xavier fit in with the Raiders? Now, he's been primarily a much better zone coverage corner. You know, he's got much more targets in zone coverage. He's been way more effective, as you can see from the numbers. He's allowed 16 touchdowns in man, only six in zone. And, you know, his yards allowed is exponentially lower. And if you're asking, why is that important? The Raiders happen to be one of the premier teams in zone coverage. In past coverage, the Raiders have been a zone-heavy team. I mean, you can see the improvements from 2022 to 2023. And that defensive turnaround came with the firing of Josh McDaniels and letting Patrick Graham go wild. And I'm going to tell you something. Xavier Howard in this system is scary. So from a personnel standpoint, the Raiders lean heavily towards groupings with extra defensive backs. You know, the Raiders have been in nickel 79.6% of the time, the 13th ranked defense from last year. Um, we made a major, major stride last year. That's our highest defensive ranking since 2002, which is also the last year we won a playoff game, right? So what Patrick Graham normally does is he uses a great deal of variation with, with the Raiders run. They don't really blitz a whole lot. They only blitz 27.2% of the time, man. And, you know, in past coverage, the Raiders have been a, a zone-heavy team. And Xavier Howard is... A premier zone corner when healthy. Now, when healthy is the big thing. When healthy is the big thing. I think Xavier Howard is all right. Uh, he's still out there twisting in the wind. And I think the Raiders need to take a flyer on the kid. This is a former All-Pro guy. I would rather take a flyer on an All-Pro guy, a guy who has that level of talent, and try to rekindle even three quarters of what he was would, would equate to something that is substantial for the Raiders in the way we play. It, 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 it definitely would. I mean, because the way the Raiders play, they're normally a 4-2-5 defense. They're going to play with five DBs. I mean, whether you're in 12 personnel, 13 personnel, or 21 personnel, you're not going to get those old school looks for the Raiders. So we are very hyper-dependent on our defensive backs. Uh, we're very hyper-dependent on the Nate Hobbs of the world. The Trayvon Marings of the world. Uh, we, you know, that is the reason why you have the Isaiah Paul Miles around. You know, you have a linebacker in a Divine Diablo who was a college safety because these are the groupings that the Raiders enjoy the most. And I think bringing in a guy who's a former All Pro, a guy who was just two years ago had ten interceptions, is the perfect, perfect person to bring in to add to what the Raiders already look to be on paper to be a defensive unit that is going to dominate this year. And we're going to need them to dominate this year. We're going to need them to kind of lead the pack because this is really the premier unit of our football team, the defense. Listen, if you guys like what you hear, hit that subscribe button. We're on a race to 15K, man. This is Raider Nation Unlimited. I'm your man, Wasted Talent. I'm out. We're going to be having more short video content coming towards you in the coming weeks until – you know, camp revs up. So please tell me down in the comments what you guys think. Do you guys enjoy Xavion Howard being a guy that could come into our organization? Do you guys enjoy the thought of that idea? Or is there somebody else you'd like? And if you guys have anyone else you'd like me to do a short video on, 
hit me down in the comments, man. Red Nation Unlimited. It's your man, Waste of Talent.